in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all my dear brothers and sisters today first reading taken from the acts of the apostle the church first council jerusalem we got the church face their problem that problem was discussed and we will see during the homely time what was the problem problem was circumcision that is the law given by god to abraham that problem was discussed and always barnaba and paul they were preaching the word of god and helping the gentiles to come to the church that we see in the acts of the apostle god was with them and god guided them guided the apostle to take a strong resolution against the circumcision to prepare ourselves to celebrate this eucharistic meal let us call to mind our sin i confess to almighty god in my thoughts in my May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. let us pray o god by whose grace those sinners we are made just and though pitiable made blessed stand we pray by your works stand by your gifts that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance through our lord jesus christ to our son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever my judgment is that we should not trouble those of the gentiles who turn to god first reading uh, reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 15 was a 7 to 21 page number 134 of the new testament after there had been much debate peter stood up and said to them my brothers you know that in early days god made a choice among you that i should be the one through whom the gentiles would hear the message of the good news and become believers and god who knows the human heart testified to them by giving them the holy spirit just as he did to us and in cleansing their hearts by faith he has made no distinction between them and us Now therefore why are you putting God to the test by placing on the neck of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear 
on the contrary we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the lord jesus just as they will the whole assembly kept silence and listened to barnabas and paul as they told of all the signs and wonders that god had done through them among the gentiles after they finished speaking james replied my brothers listen to me simeon has related how god first looked favorably on the gentiles to take from among them a people of his name this agrees with the words of the prophets as it is written after this i will return and i will rebuild the dwelling of david which has fallen from its ruins i will rebuild it and i will set it up so that all the peoples may seek the lord even all the gentiles over whom my name has been called thus says the lord who has been making these things known from long ago therefore i have reached the decision that we should not trouble those gentiles who are turning to god but we should write to them to abstain only from things polluted by idols and from fornication and from whatever has been strangled and from blood for in every city for generations past moses had has had those who proclaim him for he has been read aloud every sabbath in the synagogues the word of the lord response tell among the nations the wonders of the lord tell among the nations the wonders of the lord who oh, sing a new song to the lord sing to the lord all the earth who oh, sing to the lord bless his name response tell all among the nations the wonders of the lord proclaim his help day by day tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples response tell among the nations the wonders of the lord proclaim to the nations god is king the world he made firm in its place he will judge the peoples in fairness response tell among the nations the wonders of the lord acclamation Thomas you have believed says the lord because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john page 109 in the new testament saint john's gospel 15 the chapter verses 9 to 11 Jesus said to his disciple As the Father has loved me so have I loved you abide in my love If you keep my commandments you will abide in my love Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love These things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. 
द गॉस्पल ऑफ द लॉर्ड माई डी ऑफ ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स टूडे फर्स्ट रीडिंग टेकन फ्रॉम द एक्ट ऑफ द अपॉस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बिकॉज we are living among muslim brethren so first the church faced a problem in the 15th chapter it is said when paul and barnaba was preaching they told unless you are circumcised you will be saved other ways no so circumcision is a problem so in the church the first council what was the first council in the church any idea today's reading first council in jerusalem by the way how many council took place in the church how many councils three any other number how many council 21 councils took place in the church first council was council in jerusalem discussed about circumcision that was the problem faced by the church and the uh, last council that you must know what was the last council took place in the church it means even last council also you do not know vatican second the council of vatican second is the last council in the first council apostles were there discussing about the main problem of circumcision because the church faced that is the problem in the 15th chapter it is said unless you are circumcised you will not be saved that is the problem raised by the jubis people that is the law circumcision is a law suppose muslim brethren ask you it is set in the bible unless you circumcise you can't be saved then what answer you are going to give where is the law now let us take acts of the uh, in the book of genesis 17th chapter verses 9 onwards somebody can read 17th chapter verses 9 onward book of genesis book of genesis 17th chapter verses 9 yeah read slowly and now god said to abraham god said to abraham Ah, every male children who are born to you must be circumcised. Then, you shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Hmm. Throughout your generation, every male among you shall be circumcised when he is eight days old, including the same born in your house and the one born. okay now unless you are circumcised if you don't circumcise you can't be in the community now why in the catholic church circumcision is not there it is set in the bible 
suppose some muslim brother and ask you you how to answer it is set in the bible you can't say no it is not set in the bible set in the bible 17th chapter of genesis circumcision none paul and barnaba all the apostles gathered together in jerusalem that is council of jerusalem first council in the church don't forget this one first council in the church they discussed and paul and barnaba vehemently they were arguing with the apostles and the elders of the church because paul was a jew pharisee barnaba was a jew a pharisee and mark was a jew a pharisee all these people gathered together and they took a decision faith in jesus christ is enough no need circumcision because the gentile people are not willing to be circumcised from that time onwards circumcision was abolished in the church understand the point which council first council of jerusalem this circumcision was a first problem faced by the church and from that day onwards it was abolished when i was in cp crpf that is under reserve police i was saying mass janma paris one pastor asked me what father you are catholics are not keeping up the law in the from the bible then i asked him are you keeping up the law of the old testament we are trying father all right main law are you circumcised i asked him are you circumcised no it is set in the bible god told abraham in muslim they call ibrahim god told ibrahim to be your me children should be circumcised are you circumcised why he couldn't answer so you must know the things how it took place in the church in the church this law was abolished by the council of jerusalem and from that time on the gentiles we are the gentiles because other than the jewish people are called gentiles we are the gentile the gentile people are not or have circumcision faith in jesus christ and baptism is enough that is the law taken by peter paul barnaba all other apostle and from that time onwards circumcision was abolished in the catholic church but for muslim whatever set in quran must keep up now there is another problem the government is facing three words talaq no but in the catholic church always catholic church means the church always with the government with the people and understood the problem of circumcision and they abolished that law and god was with them and every day the church was increasing gentiles and everybody came into the church and in the beginning of the church all we are keeping up god's words amen
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father o oh god who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme godhead grant be praise that as we come to know you are true we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our lord the lord be with you lift up your heart let us give thanks to the lord of our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all time to acclaim you o lord but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body he brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by the com- commanding himself to you by our salvation so did himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with the pascal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic chorus sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim you are indeed holy o lord the bound of pal holiness make holy therefore the scripts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin do this in memory of me the mystery of faith yeah for us we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, you have church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Bala our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit your apostle, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with the Bible, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Be. Let us suffer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Christ and find me, both of Christ save me, blood of Christ in every age in me, water from the side of Christ wash me, passion of Christ strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds hide me, separated from you, let me never be, from the malignant enemy defend me, at the hour of death call me, to come to you with me, that I may praise you in the company of your saints. For all eternity. Amen. Communion and Dipon. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And let those you have imbued with heavenly mystery to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.